In today's video, I'm going to show you how to propagate crested Euphorbia flanagani or the Medusa's head. Cresting in succulent occurs spontaneously and is kind of a mutation or an error in growth. This here is a very special crest. Usually crested Euphorbia grows something like this. So it's fairly thin and it waves around like a coral. But this one is at least five or six times thicker and there's a lot more of the tentacles growing outwards as well. This one here is actually quite rare. I haven't seen many that would crest this way before. But the question is, how are you going to separate these out? They are kind of growing as one. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a harsh treatment and make a cut kind of somewhere in the middle. It is also best to grow, to, <laughs> you don't have to grow gloves, um, to wear gloves because euphorbias have this white sap growing inside them and it bursts out whenever they're wounded. Um, some people may have an allergic reaction to them, to the sap. Um, if it gets into your eyes, it can even blind you. So just be really careful when propagating any euphorbia. Um, make sure you wash your hands properly and if any of the sap gets on your skin, wash it off. All right, so back to propagating. Um, it's a little bit harder with the gloves. So just make a cut in the middle and take a nice big chunk off. Okay, here's one. Now, I can probably propagate this into three different plants, but because I want a big plant fast, I'm going to leave it as one. I'll just pop it here. Now, this has revealed another section. Let's turn it around. And this one will be a little bit easier because it's growing on its own. So here we've got another one. This one I'll pop in, cut in half. Yep. And so we'll go round and round and round until there's nothing left. Um, chances are that more crested euphorbia will grow out of the wounds. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of Luck of it's just kind of down to your luck really uh, now the next step is to let these dry off so you'll have quite a bit of sap coming out so you can place them on a bit of a towel newspaper or on a tray that you'll later on wash and just let them dry for 24 hours this way the wound will heal and no bacteria will be able to infect it and then rot your plant. Um, once it's dried, get good quality succulent potting mix, pop it in a tray or a pot and then stick your cutting in. In spring or summer you should get roots within about a month. I wouldn't recommend propagating this in autumn and winter as the plant is mainly dormant, depending on where in the world you are. Um, here in Australia it would probably still send roots, but it would, the process will be a lot slower. If you're in a con cold country with harsh winters, I think that it would not bother with roots up until spring. Um, Euphorbia flanagani does not like full sun, so when you plan your cuttings, they are a little bit more sensitive to light so I'll put them either under shade cloth the ultimate number is 30 so 30 percent shade cloth or on a veranda or a balcony or inside behind a very very bright window after it's got roots um, I would still recommend keeping it in a very bright shade um, I hope you found this video useful um, I don't yet have an article on our blog site, succulentgrowingtips.com, but there will be one coming soon and it will talk in more detail about this process.